Let's add the PDF for Sugar button to a detail view inside our instance of Sugar CRM. To do this, we click on Admin to go to our Admin page. We scroll down, and what we're looking for is Studio. And I'll click on Studio. Once inside of Studio, on the left-hand side are all the objects that I can edit. I'm going to try to put a button inside my contacts view. To do that, we need to add a button field. So I'll go to contacts, fields, and this will show me all the fields inside of my contacts view. Then I'll click on add field. The type of field I want to add is the PDF for sugar button, and I'll select that. The first thing we need is a field name. Now, for field name, you want to make this one word without any special characters in it. So I'll just type in PDF button for PDF button. And if I click down to the next field, you can see that Sugar automatically fills out the next couple fields for me. Down here, we have the button text. This is actually the name or the text that will appear on our button. You may want to change this to be more descriptive. You may want it to say my form or XYZ PDF form. Now finally at the bottom, we have a field here. It's called ID to use in Sugar. When you create a PDF form and you put that PDF form up on PDF for Sugar, we need to know exactly which form it is. So when you do that, it creates an ID and you get to paste the ID right here. But for now, what I want to do is I want to type in the word test. And the reason being is because we want to generate a test to see that the button A works inside of our view, and B, we want to see the field names that we can use inside of our PDF form. When I'm done, I just click on Save, and it saves that field. Now that we have a field, our next step is to take that field and put it inside one of our layouts. So we're going to go to the detail view for the contacts layout. The first thing that you'll notice is on the left hand side we have a toolbox of objects and one of them just happens to be our field, which is the button. Over on the right is the layout where we can place that button object. Now we don't really have a place to put the button object right now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag and drop and create a space to put it. Then I'm going to scroll down, I'm going to find my button down here at the bottom, and I will drag and drop it into place. All that's left to do is to save and deploy. And what this will do is this will save this layout with the new button that we've created on it. By going to a contact, you can now see that we have a get PDF button sitting inside of our contact view.